Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. How are you doing guys? I'm Miss Rose and this is Miss Rose Tarot. And today we're gonna have a look at your singles love tarot reading for the month of March 2022 Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. So today we're gonna have a look what's coming next in your love life. What are important energies surrounding you, surrounding your love life? What do we need to bring up from the subconsciousness to the consciousness? What messages are coming through for your love life from spirit? And also, we will see um, time indications, okay? So we will see some time indications at the end of this tarot reading. So make sure to stay tuned until the end of the reading if you want to see more Aries. Now let's get it started with your love tarot reading, your singles tarot reading with the King of Wands. We have the Lovers. The Fool. Don't forget, Aries, these are general tarot messages. Some of them may resonate, some of them may not. You can always check out the reading of your moon, your Venus, and your rising sign as well. I have, I do have um, several pick a card readings with different themes coming up. I do have channel love messages on my channel every week. And of course, my general tarot readings where we talk a lot about love as well. So if you're interested and if you haven't subscribed already, I would be very happy if you became a subscriber, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's very interesting, guys. That's very interesting. Temperance. One more. Ace of Swords, yeah. So the six of cups kind of want to come out. I will, I will, I will take it for now because it could be an important message for some of you guys. And I do see that there will be some clarity coming in regarding a specific person. I do have a very, very divine couple here, like a perfect match, the king and the queen of wands. Okay, it doesn't have to be a male female combination, guys. Tarot is just working with masculine and feminine energies. Take it how it resonates for you. You're here represented as the queen of wands and this person is represented as the king of wands both fire energies maybe you're dealing with a fire sign leo sag aries um we have sagittarius here with the temperance card too so right from the and leo sorry leo is here with the sun as well <laughs> we have a pisces also and a gemini all right lots of major arcana so for lots of you guys this is going to be a reading about a person you already know um this doesn't have to be like an ex ex situation. Um, this could also be an ex situationship, like an ex crush or something. It doesn't have to be your ex partner per se. My camera is making weird things. Hello. Well, sorry for that. Can you please zoom out? Sometimes my camera is a bit difficult. It doesn't matter though. I'm gonna tell you anyway and show you the cards in close up. So yeah, six of cups. That's why I'm thinking for lots of you guys, you already know this person from your past. And also we have this sense of clarity of truth coming out. So this could be a crush revealing their true feelings for you. You could know this person from the past here with the six of cups, guys, okay? We have the ace of swords. In the eight of swords, we have the seven of cups. I do think this person had a troubles um, being honest about their own feelings for you okay so there could have been some issues yeah and also the moon pisces energy things hidden right things hidden and they will come out and i think this person was a bit of like a wishy-washy or hot and cold energy with this person but now they're gonna come clean they're gonna tell you what they're feeling for you they're gonna express their feelings for you okay they're gonna let their guards down nine of wands and they're gonna take that leap of faith Okay, the fool. They are going to take that leap of faith. Really, really clear story, clear message to me in this reading. So this is definitely for um, for you guys. You already know this person. Okay, some of you, this you, you could have been involved with this person in the past. It's not excluded. But for others of you, this person has a crush on you and they're going to tell you. Okay. And for some of you, this was maybe a situation ship in the past and it never evolved to be a proper relationship, but they're gonna tell you what they're feeling. They're gonna take that leap of faith. Ace of Swords, communication, air energy, also the Eight of Swords is air energy too, right? So 
I think they've been feeling kind of trapped or there was something going on in the back where you didn't know about, but they're breaking free from that and they're going to let the guards down and they're going to take their leap of faith, seven of cups and the moon, confusion, wishy-washy energy maybe, but this is over, okay? There's a sense of clarity coming. You guys are actually a really good match, queen and king of wands and temperance and the temperance is Sagittarius energy. It's talking about modesty and balance and in love readings we can usually or a lot of readers see that as a soulmate connection and I do too okay and also the lovers here the lovers come always come with a sense of making a decision as well and this person is deciding to go for their feelings for their love for you okay and also the lovers is a strong strong partnership definitely equal partnership and with this temperance energy with this balanced energy we do get this feeling here again now Aries this is a very beautiful reading guys we have the sun and the four of ones the four of ones is one of my most favorite minor arcana cards in tarot it's so beautiful it talks about celebrations it talks about a stable foundation okay so I can definitely see with the sun here that you're going to be very very happy with this person um, there's lots of passion and chemistry here, I have to say that, with all of this fire energy here too. And they're going to reveal to you that they want the stability, that they want this life with you, okay, Aries? This commitment. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> my throat is so dry. I'm still a little bit sick. Okay, now let's take out some... Oracle cards. Let's start with the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards. And I do see that my camera is still blurry. I'm really sorry. But I'm going to show you the cards in close up anyway. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, we have the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, the other woman. So take that how it resonates. For some of you, this might have been a very, very important, or this could be a very, very important message regarding this connection, all right? Um, as I said, there could have been something going on in the past, in the background um, of this person we're talking about, and you didn't know about that. We don't know about that, okay? Maybe they have a very deceptive ex or a toxic ex, manipulative ex, could be. Okay, if this doesn't resonate with you, don't worry. I don't see, though, that this person has malicious intent towards you. They're going to come clean and they want the stability with you because they do see you as a good match. We have the dragonfly, yes. Be lighthearted, things coming to light, finding out, adapt, change, and heal. We have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. And we have love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Paradise is very, very beautiful, guys. This is like the ten of cups to me when I see that. Okay, so yeah, you're going to actually the sun here as well. Harmony, joy, also clarity with the sun, right? And there's no clouds, there's no fog, there's no rain. The sun brings clarity, the sun brings warmth, joy and happiness and good, good times, fertility and the paradise card here confirms that as well. So this person is going to reach out. We have the love call card and the coffee cup. So they could be inviting you out for a coffee, maybe just conversing and they're going to tell you how they feel about you and for you and that they want this to work. Okay, so for some of you, this could be... Um, really like a surprise, right? Like, okay, you didn't know that this person has th these kinds of feelings for you, or, or maybe you expected that a tiny bit, but you weren't too sure. For others of you, as I said, this would be someone you've already been kind of romantically involved with. And for others of you, this could be like, really like your ex, okay? Now let's see some Romans angels. We have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. And we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. <clears throat> so these could mean a few different things. Like this card, I mean. Um, 
your love life is being affected by children. It could be that this person has children, that you have children, or you both work with children, or you guys want to have children um, in your life. And this could be the person you're going to build a family, okay? Now, let's see some time indications for you. My dear Aries, I will see. I, will, I work with the 12 major iconic cards that primarily correspond with the... 12 zodiac signs. I work with the seasons. I work with the full moons. And I do see if there's some overlapping. I have my full moons here. And we start with justice. This is Libra energy, okay? Libra season is in. Now, there's a lot of information coming, but I got your back cover, okay? Because I'm, I'm looking for some overlapping. Um, Libra season is in September and October. And the next full moon in Libra is in April. So this could be your first indication very, very soon, April. We have Leo energy with strength. Leo season is in July and August and the next Leo full moon is next year. We have Scorpio energy. Scorpio season is in October, November. So we do have an overlapping for October. And the next full moon in Leo is, no, sorry, in Scorpio. Let me see, is in May, April, May, okay, April, May. And then we have the lovers. This is Gemini energy. The next Gemini season is in, of course, May and June. And the next full moon in Gemini is in December. So I do see um, some time indication that makes lots of sense. And this is rather sooner than later, I believe, because we do have the April full moon in Libra. We have Scorpio full moon in May and then May and June here with Gemini season and July and August with Leo season. So it, it is um, a story here, okay, following months. So I do think starting from April, so this could happen very, very soon for some of you, all the way through the end of August, this person will express their feelings for you. Okay, Aries? Thanks so, so much for um, watching, guys. This was your singles tarot reading for the month of March. Very interesting, very, very interesting and insightful. I am apologizing for the camera issues I have, but this reading needs to get out. And yeah, you could see the cards in close up anyway. So that's the most important thing, right? <laughs> if you want to support me, please leave a thumbs up. You can leave a comment as well. And of course, I would be very, very happy if you became a subscriber, Aries, and I do see you next time. Bye guys, love y'all.